Yo guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Modern Warfare 4 leaks which, you know, it has everyone pretty excited but there's been some new leaked information which I found very interesting I've been watching a few videos on it already and I thought I'd put my input into this because my input is always the best so, number one, what this leaker from I think the details were he, he um... Uh, I had a wild post of the Black Source sub, but was deleted. But basically, I worked at QA and quit two weeks ago due to how Treyarch treated us. So, he was basically a QA tester at Treyarch, but quit after two weeks. This is this apparent leaker and who he is. And he's released some details on Modern Warfare 4. But he says to take it with a huge grain of salt. I mean, I'll take a double, extra large pinch of salt. But let's get into this, what he had to say. So, number one, Modern Warfare 4 is the name, which I'm pretty sure we could all go with. You know, it's said to be in that investor call. It's in franchise history. And, you know, Infinity Ward only have Modern Warfare in franchise history, which is a big game. Will come with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 remastered campaign only, but there was talk of multiplayer being released on both throughout the, the year. They don't want to drop three different games with three different multiplayers all at once. See, that that still sounds stupid. Like, why would they release free games when they could release Modern Warfare 3 some other time? I think they should just do um, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 4 at the same time. Why would they release all three at the same time, you know? They could make money on a different release, different time. But that would be insane, man. To get all three games with multiplayer, maybe not all at the same time, but I think this is a possibility, but I'm not sure all three. Maybe just Modern Warfare 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Number three, supply drops are still there, unfortunately, but it's the same system as Infinite, Infinite Warfare's. So, basically, you can play the game to get keys to open supply drops. But why are supply drops coming in at all? I mean... If they bring in supply drops with the pay to win system and shit like that, then it's bad. But if it's like Infinite Warfare, we don't really have to worry that much. Number four is a big one. DLC model is different from Black Ops 4. It will be 15 maps for the past with three maps rolling out through the life cycle. Three monthly COD points, DLC weapons to go to season pass holders for free, access to beta for content, New maps, wall maps, extra login bonus, and four special character costumes. What's also being talked about releasing all maps free and having no DLC pass but a cheaper pass which includes everything listed above except maps which would be free. So DLC model is different from Black Ops 4. It'll be 15 maps for the pass with free maps rolling out throughout the life cycle which it sounds good to me free monthly cop points sounds good to me DLC weapons go to season pass holders for free sounds good to me access to beta for content sounds good to me new maps war maps see the world war 2 war mode was not that bad so I wouldn't like I'd mind seeing something like that come back extra login bonus sounds good to me and four special costumes sounds good to me what's also being talked about releasing maps free throughout the game which it just needs to be done if you look at every other game they do that now and having no DLC pass which is you know a cool new thing but it's kind of been phased out you know recently and cheaper pass which includes everything listed above a certain match which would be free so yeah that's an interesting one the the whole pass thing I mean that's we could do that in another video to be honest Number 5, a mode like World War II's War Mode, which will be developed by Raven, will launch with three base maps for it, and they are different in the way to how War worked in World War II. See, this only sounds good to me, to have Raven working on a different game mode to go into the game. That only sounds good to me, to be honest, not much to say on it. Number 6, customization wise, obviously camos, but the interesting part is the character customization. You can change your head accessories, beanies, hats, helmets, etc. Torso shirts, vest, etc. Legs, feet, and gloves. I mean, that sounds good to me. You know, customize yourself. Hopefully, it doesn't go as far as AW though. Absolutely, 100% guarantee. No specialists in terms of BO3, IW, BO4. 
think Modern Warfare 3 specialist. So like earning perks when you get kills basically. Which is good. We do not want the specialist back in COD like at all. It just it it makes the game so so strange, so you know, luck dependent and it just it just makes it bad to be honest. Number eight, kill streaks are similar to Modern Warfare Two and Modern Warfare Three. See, I want kill streaks back. Uh, get rid of score streaks, man. At least for the Modern Warfare story series, kill streaks was the thing. Kill streaks will be back. I can guarantee it. Plenty of original guns from the Modern Warfare series sounds good to me. You know, like the the ACR, the Model 18s, blah blah blah. You know, the noob tubes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that makes sense. No battle royale. It was obviously being talked about seeing the success of Blackout. Blackout. Activision wanted to keep building on it, but the player base has dropped drastically since January, even more so after the release of Apex Legends. See, they should just keep building on Blackout and leave Modern Warfare to do their own thing, like Spec Ups, which I'll be going on to later. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Why would they create another battle royale mode when Blackout is already going in the dumps? Because it, it won't be free, so they should make Blackout free. Campaign is set before Modern Warfare 2's events. That's all I know about campaign. We all have co-op play and a camo slash reward system for playing to encourage people to play. So, yeah, the campaign's going to be difficult for them to do because they kind of finished it off. But I'm sure they can... Uh, apparently it's going to be 8 hours campaign as well. They're going to have to find, you know, a place to set this campaign which is going to be difficult for them but you know I, I, I believe they can do it and we'll have co-op play which it instantly just reminds me of special ups and survival and all the the missions we have for special ups which is going to be so good if they bring that back camera reward system something we've been asking for for ages free shit for working and playing the game <laughs> makes fucking sense Number 12, we'll have keys like IW to unlock supply drops, but we'll also reward 1 to 3 random players after every match like World War 2. Uh, like, random players getting the rules. I think it should be the best players in the lobby, to be honest, but uh, it sounds good, to be honest. Number 13, the new co op mode is a survival mode based, but it's more like an open world thing. Battle Royale type maps, huge maps. You have level progression for certain unlocks, guns, attachments, etc. The objective is to kill, collect certain things. We'll have a skills tree system. This is being worked on by Raven, also along with Infinity War. We'll come with one map at launch, as far as I know, with plans of releasing one every other month. The last time I heard anything about this mode was early last year, so a lot could have changed. No name for it as of then. Huh, so... that This is interesting. Because it doesn't really sound like spec ups, more like an open world battle royale thing. I I mean we'll just have to see how that works. I, I can't really comment on that at the moment. I just hope for spec ups. Number fourteen, let's talk about multiplayer modes. The usuals are returning infected on launch with search and rescue also gun game, wager matches for keys, demolition and more. All sounds good. Continuous stream of content over the year, different from Black Ops 4, instead of tiers you have to complete challenges for the rules. Etc. Kill 100 players with X gun to unlock Y gun. That sounds good. Very good. Tactical nuke is returning. Will not end objective based modes. See, tactical nuke. I, I, I mean, this has to be guaranteed. It has to be returning as a kill streak. It just has to be instead of getting a bloody medal. Campaign is set to be 7 to 8 hours longer than normal difficulty. See, how are they going to make it that long? and find a place to set them on warfare campaign uh, it's going to be interesting and pro packs will return which i really do hope they do so a lot of these things i can believe coming true but you have to take a lot with a, a grain of salt because it's you know we haven't even seen the details yet apparently this guy was Q qa testing for Treyarch for two weeks and got all this detail i mean pff, it's hard to believe but a lot of it does sound real and legit, but we'll just have to see where they go with it. I'm very excited for Modern Warfare 4, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 remasters. Modern Warfare 3 was where I really got into cold along with Black Ops 1. I was kind of too late for Modern Warfare 2, so yeah, there you go guys. The leak has been 
identified on my channel. So, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.